welcome to Bearded Meeple. You know me, folks, I love a good dice rolling game. Whether it's a classic like Yahtzee, or something more modern and casual like Dice Bazaar. Or perhaps even a more advanced game like Roll for the Galaxy. Well, today, we're going to take a look at a game for 2-4 to four players, ages 14+, plus, and it'll play anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. It's all about the Battle of the Druids, as you're using elemental dice and constructing stone circles to fight each other. It's brought to us by Rattlebox Games. It's Cromlech. Let's take a look at it. Just to note that these are prototype pieces, not final production quality. The game takes place over three years, and in each year there are four seasons. As you construct your stone structures, it will be orientated north, east, south, and west. The powers available to your druids will be determined on which way your druid is facing, as they get rotated through the game. A lintel will offer you additional abilities as you complete your structures. The Trilithian cards will build your structure for the first year. The Sarsen cards will expand it for the second year. And in the third year, any stones that have been taken away, you'll be able to replace them from your score pile. We also have markers in the game. Red for wound, blue for defense, and green for heal. Let's take a few moments to take a look at the different icons and what they mean and how they'll affect the game, and then we'll look at gameplay. You can begin the game with divination, which is each player grabs a die, they have to call what they're going to roll. Whoever does this successfully is first, or there's a number of other ways you can choose who goes first. Two cards from Trilithian are revealed. The start player will get to select a card and they place it in the north position. The card is replaced and this is continued until each player has eight cards. Each player has their eight cards and we're ready to begin. On the first year, per rotation, you will only roll two dice. But in year two and three, you will roll more as your player board expands. The die you select are determined by the dice available to that druid and what is immediately to their left and their right. This druid might select green and green, and this druid might select red and white. The other thing is each card has a major ability that if you use that ability you're able to get a free re-roll as well. Each player is able to roll their dice up to three times and depending on the icons that you get you're either going to defend, heal, attack, build, or rend, or if you don't get what you need, nothing. As the game progresses remember you are able to change your druid and in year two and three, you're able to use both die as indicated on the card. As you expand your player board, more dice will become available for you to use as well. You have the lintels that will affect the game as you complete your structures. You also have the wound, defense, and heal tokens that are going to affect your druid. Utilize all aspects to the best of your ability, and hopefully you'll win. And that, my friends, is Cromlick. A couple things I'd like to say, and there's a couple different reasons why I enjoyed this game. Even though there is randomness of which cards are going to come out and which will be available to you, and yes, there is the randomness and push-your-luck element of the die roll, you really have to strategize because as you build your stone structure, as you rotate your druid, certain aspects will become available to you. I also like the fact that it's not static, your play area will change, your structure will expand, certain things might get taken away, but that's not necessarily bad because you might be able to add something that you really want later on. 
I enjoyed it. I thought it was a nice little spin on a dice game. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.